Hey guys, how you going? My name is Dom and in this video we're going to be looking at how to create a transition on page load using CSS. So this right here is the final result. I have this uh, simple web page. If I was to click on this home button, um, we get a nice little animation when the content loads up. So once again, back on the about page we can see we get a subtle uh, transition or animation as the content loads up and this is very simple to achieve and it requires just a little bit of CSS. And I think it makes the websites look a lot better. It gives it a bit of punch, a bit of flavor, and definitely uh, definitely a good pick for uh, commercial websites. And I use this basically for all of my projects from now on. So let's go inside this tab right here. And here I have essentially the same content as before, but this time of course, we have no animation. So let's go ahead now and implement the transition slash animation on this particular web page right here. Let's go inside the text editor and take a look at the current structure. So I've got here the index HTML page. Um, it's yeah the home page, and I have here um, a CSS file included called master.css, and this is going to be included on all of the pages, and it's going to contain all of the code for the transition. Okay, so of course um, this has to be included on all of the pages. That way, um, every single page has the transition um, effect working. All right. And down here we have just all of the sample content, a few paragraphs, and also, of course, the navigation bar. Inside the about HTML file, once again, we include the master CSS file, of course, very important to this uh, particular effect. And down here we have um, just an image instead of the third paragraph of sample text. So very simple uh, dummy sample content going on right here. So let's go inside the master CSS file and begin on the transition effects. Okay, so the first thing to do is to define some keyframes. So we're going to define what actually happens um, for the animation to work. So what is the actual animation? So let's say keyframes right here. So you say at keyframes, then specify the name of your keyframe. So we can say transition in, for example. Inside here, we can say from and then to. So basically, we're going to be defining uh, some CSS properties inside both the from and to. Essentially, the transition involves going from these properties to these properties here. So let's go inside the from section and say opacity zero and transform to be rotate x negative 10 degrees. So when the page loads up, whichever element we apply this keyframe uh, set to, the element is going to go from these particular values to these ones inside here. So I'm going to copy and paste this stuff right here and change the opacity to one and say transform rotate to be zero. So essentially, we're going from a morphed or a changed um, value to the default values which are readable by the user. So this is the main part of this effect. Okay, so now we just need to apply this, uh, this set of rules to a particular element. So let's go back inside the index page and I've got here a container class which surrounds all of the main content. And this does not include um, the navigation bar and the title. So the reason for that is that way the um, the heading or the title and the nav bar uh, remain solid as the content changes. And I think that looks a bit better um, as opposed to the entire content changing. All right, so um, let's go back inside the CSS file and target the class of container. Inside here, we can say animation. We can say transition in at 0.75 seconds. So basically, all of this content inside here, inside the container div, is going to take three quarters of a second to go from these values to these values here. All right, so I can save this and refresh the browser and we have the final result. So, of course, you just saw it. If I was to change pages, we get the nice subtle animation appearing 
as the content loads up. Now, of course, if you want the entire page to do that, including the title and the navigation bar, we can easily go inside here and change this to be body. And now the entire body is going to have the transition animation effect. So I can save this and refresh and now, of course, the whole body has the effect. So uh, I don't know, you, you, um, you may like this better. You may like the content better. I personally like the content changing only um, better, but that's just me. So I've also got a second kind of animation that I like to use. And this basically just involves going back inside here and changing the transform to be uh, translate Y as being negative 10 PX and uh, changing this to be, of course, once again, back down to zero. So now, of course, it's going to go from a, um, from a sort of higher um, position and then fade downwards as it obviously fades in. So now I can save this and refresh and we have a different style of effect as the content loads up. So once again, also, I think quite a nice animation. And that is how you can do very simple transitions on page load using some CSS. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.